I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about my ex looks happy on social media. Well, obviously social media is a huge part of our life in the current day and age and there are so many different avenues to share what's going on in your life. Now, it's important to remember that a lot of times people are only sharing fractions of moments of their life and they're always showing the ones that puts them in the best light and so it's easy to get overwhelmed if you see your ex posting on social media and today I'm going to look at some of the different areas that I've noticed and some of the different things that happen in a breakup. I've got a really quick email that was really sweet that I thought I'd real, read real quick. They said, Hi Craig, I just wanted to write and tell you how happy I am to have found your channel. I listen to your videos all day long and it has helped me tremendously. I plan on scheduling a coaching with you soon as I get extra money. I'm currently a single mom and money is tight. So for now, I'm just soaking up all the information from your channel. I've listened to several other coaching videos and yours are by far the only one that sits well with me and offers the greatest advice. Thank you so much. I really appreciate those kind words and so does Margaret. We're always looking for new topics and areas to explore to help you guys the best that we can. And we always appreciate these kind words. Uh, she goes on to say, I've almost finished with volume four of the knowledge and I'm really loving it. I have a question about the Elite series that I don't think you've answered are they just upgraded versions of one through five? Okay, one through five um, are completely different than six through ten. They're meant to be one big collection. So no, they're all different videos. Um, one through five was based on like 35 videos and six through ten is based on 59 videos, 59 different videos and 24 of those are exclusive. It's not quite double the size of one through five, but pretty close. But yes, they are all different videos. And thank you guys for all the positivity on the knowledge. And please share your review and your thoughts about the knowledge in the comment section with people so they know that it's something that's really helping you. Because I really put in a lot of time and effort into making these things incredible. So please share your experiences with them and thank you so much um, for, for sharing that you liked uh, one through four so far. Um, the second email is somebody that's, I think, struggling with their breakup as most of us have been through or going through now. And they said, Hi Craig, I've been watching your channel for about two months and you truly have changed my life. I've been sharing my videos with several of my friends and they really like you too. One of the thing that is driving me crazy is how my ex has been posting on social media. He has struggled with depression through most of our relationship. In fact, he has struggled with it his entire life. However, now he is posting pictures and videos and he looks happy all the time. God, that would feel awful, wouldn't it? Um, it's really such, it's so awful to see your ex looking so happy, especially if it's right after the breakup. It's making me feel so much worse, like I was the cause of his unhappiness or depression. Yeah, well, I could see why you would feel like that, and I would be feeling that same way. I'd be wondering, like, why, why are you so happy now? Like, was I that horrible in your life that all of a sudden now you go on from depressed and anxious or whatever you're going through and now you're excited and happy about life it would make you feel like it's 
um, on you, but it's not. It's not. Okay, and I'm gonna get into that in a minute. Um, but it hurts, and you know, one of the things that I felt when I was going through my breakups is when I saw my ex posting on social media, it made me feel so disconnected. And every time there was any kind of update, it didn't matter what it was, how insignificant it was, I felt more and more distant from them and more separated from their life. Like I didn't know what was going on with them anymore and it just hurt every time I saw anything. Um, it could be them at an event, taking pictures with friends, taking pictures with family, it doesn't matter. It just makes you feel like you're losing them. Even like a, a change in a Facebook picture is enough to make you feel like you're losing them more, right? Because you, you kind of like, you grow attached to that picture in a way, right? If they've had a picture up for a while, you kind of grow attached to that picture and then they change it and it's disheartening and you're like, I wasn't there for that moment. I wasn't there for these pictures. I remember when it happened to me several times during my breakups and it made me just feel awful inside. And then if they start deleting you, oh, that's even worse. Um, so then it's like I'm replacing you with these new pictures where I look so happy. But are they really that happy? So there are some different aspects of this that I want to talk about today. Um, and this is a tricky topic because there are quite a few different things that could be going on in this kind of situation. Um, for example, one of the things is that maybe your ex is truly moving on with their life. You know, that is a very real possibility that they are just doing what they want to do. They're posting. They're not thinking about how it's affecting you or that you might be looking at it or not understanding that you'd be like hurting when they posted an update like that. But sometimes they are just living their life. Now, sometimes they are purposely sending some kind of cryptic message to you, uh, some kind of uh, indirect message. Now, it's a, not an indirect direct because it's not directly messaged towards you, but sometimes they do indirect things like post memes or songs. Uh, maybe it was a favorite song between you and you know it was meant for you, but don't reach out in that situation because there's no kind of direct contact. But yes, Sometimes they're just living their life. Sometimes they're doing it for other reasons, right? Um, one of the things that you want to think about, and this is unique to each of you, is, is your ex doing anything different now? Like if they used to post all the time and now they're posting all the time, it's the same. They're just doing the same old them. But if they didn't post for a year and a half and suddenly they have posted four times in three weeks, something's up, okay? Now, what is it that's going on? Are they trying to get your attention? That is a very real possibility. They could be trying to get your attention, but don't make the mistake of reaching out just because they did that, okay? So, let's say you see these posts and they're looking so happy and obviously you're hurting inside and then you just get more anxious and confused, okay? First of all, and I have three or four main points here that I want you to really think about. First of all, in most cases, they're not as happy as they look. Okay? It's just the moment in time where they've taken a picture to present to the world their status, um, to get attention, whatever it is. They are not as happy as they look. And I know this because I've talked to people on both ends of the breakup and they'll tell me what they're doing, right? So, Take relief, okay? Just know that even if they look super happy in a picture or a video or with their from some friends, that doesn't mean when they lay their head on their pillow at night that they're not miserable, heartbroken, and struggling, okay? Doesn't mean that at all. That moment in time is just a moment in time. It's not a reflection of how they're doing all the time. Okay, another big point is that even if they did post pictures with somebody new that they're dating and it looks like they're happy and they're getting serious together, it doesn't mean it's going to last. 
Guys, I cannot tell you how often I see your ex will break up with you, start dating somebody new right away, and it's devastating, I know, I've been there, and then three, four months later, they're broken up. You see less and less pictures of them, then all of a sudden the status change, then all of a sudden they're no longer on their friends list. It happens all the time, okay? A lot of times if somebody leaves you for somebody else, they think it's gonna last, and it doesn't because it's not what they expected. Okay? So even if they look happy in the current moment, it doesn't mean that it's gonna sustain any long period of time. Of course it's possible, but it's not likely, okay? Now, there's one other thing that I wanted to talk about um, because this does come up, and a lot of people won't tell you this, but sometimes your ex is hurt, and they're angry at you, and they're deliberately trying to hurt you, okay? Maybe you've neglected them in the relationship or done something that upset them, and so now they will deliberately do things to make you upset and jealous. Now, I want you to think back to your previous breakups. Have you ever done it before? If you're honest with yourself, you probably have. And share a comment if you have so people can see, yeah, I did try and make them jealous. Yeah, I was upset at the time and I was just trying to get them hurt or get them to give me attention or I knew that if I posted pictures with this guy, he'd get upset and he'd contact me and then he did. Happens all the time, guys. How your ex looks on social media is not definitive of how they are doing 24-7. I know it can feel like that. And I know you could take one picture or a set of pictures and, and just stare at that and look at it and obsess over it and convince yourself that that's how they're doing. They don't care about you. They've moved on and they're never coming back. Well, that's simply not the case. Okay? So, relax. I know how much emphasis you're probably putting on social media and what they're doing, but a lot of times it's not giving you as much information as it really feels like, okay? So, of course, if you wanna get my help personally, just go to my website, askcraig.net, sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Margaret is, of course, available for Skype coaching. I am now podcasted on most of the major platforms, so you can check that out and be sure to subscribe to the channel so we can grow. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and I will talk with you soon.